It's busy raining outside. I hope I can make this video. Okay, the rain has stopped, but hey, my name's Daniel, aka Hashlabs, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to become a tremendously skillful developer just by following three extra steps if you do not do this already and uh, it will improve your skills if you starting off in development this will help you uh, for sure so it comes down to these three basic things and I'm going to right off the bat start off with number one number one is that a lot of devs focus on the I would say the syntax and they worry about how they're going to execute the program uh, how, how short it's going to be, the writing of it, what variables to use. Stop worrying about that stuff. And the first step that you should be worrying about is the platform. What platform are you writing on? And understand the core of how that platform works. This might not seem important right now because, of course, a developer, you don't need to do these things because we don't write low-level stuff. But if you are interested in learning about it, then it will help you out. But I would say just knowing that your program is going to run, for instance, in the browser and that you're writing JavaScript, that helps to a certain degree because you'll understand where the code is going to be executed, understand the shortcomings of that uh, platform and also the advantages that it gives you. And by understanding that, it also makes you think a bit differently. Code is all about solutioning and problem solving, almost like fitting two pieces of a puzzle together and if you can understand how that platform can help facilitate you in solving that problem a little bit better then you're golden and you're going to come up with solutions that's way better than any other developer out there so let's take an example of the blockchain and let's look at ethereum so ethereum you're trying to write a smart contract you heard about solidity and you learn solidity you go ahead and you write this beautiful program and unfortunately it's on the blockchain but maybe a few months down the line it, it just breaks. It doesn't handle data any well, it's, it's very slow, it's heavy and you don't know what you did wrong. Well, I can tell you and that's because you never read up on the capacity of smart contracts and the limitations they have to data storage within them. And you would have understand that concept if you understood the platform that that piece of software was going to run on. And uh, that's the basic concept I can give. There's a lot more concepts like understanding event loops in Node.js and all these kind of cool things. But understanding how the platform works, uh, the framework works that your code is going to be running on is for me the number one step. Not syntax, not how you're going to code it but understanding the platform. Once you do that, the first step is done and you're on your way to becoming a legend in programming. Yes, and we have number two. Now, number two is super crucial that you write code down, not on a piece of paper, but actually practice on a IDE or so when someone gives you a tutorial and you're following along. I know it sounds like effort, and it sounds stupid when someone says, if you really want to learn something, write about it, speak about it, and repeat. The thing is, that is true. There is some truth to that because it practices your fingers to write code. Now, it sounds stupid because our fingers don't really have brains by themselves, but you have a brain. And your brain, your nerve endings, well, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but they somehow go to your fingers and it's called I think muscle memory so when you start writing you'll find writing it over and over and over again certain things will help you to become better at programming one other thing that I want to mention is let's say there's some simple tasks such as a for loop a while loop an if statement switch statements and functions what you need to do is actually write these out don't go for the short hands and click on tab and then it just opens it up if you're not really practiced on doing this. The reason is because you're always going to forget how to write these pieces of code out. But when you sit down and you write code and you try and remember doing it and just typing it in, 
I promise you, you're going to remember it after a while and it really trains the mind working with your body when you're coding. So it all comes down to the retrieval process. That process that takes place between your mind and your body reiterating what you already know. It's almost as if you want to prove to yourself that you know this and you can push it out into the world. And that is kind of what scientists um, talk about when they say write things down. Uh, in this case, uh, type out code. But it is kind of that validation period for you to um, validate to yourself that you know what you're doing. And that's why it's important. So always try and attempt to write code, even if you get stuck. And it goes to say with this, Google things if you are stuck. Go on Stack Overflow. Go on these help uh, web searches that's out there. The whole web is full of the solutions that you need. And I promise you, if you do that, you're going to find an easy time to quickly find a solution, but then type it out. Don't go and just copy and paste it. I know it is easy to go ahead and copy and paste stuff, but as soon as you become a copy and paste coder, you're going to struggle down the line. Uh, it's raining outside again. Uh, I see this cat's loving it, so let me introduce you. Her name is Whiskers. She loves the lights. Maybe this could be a thumbnail. And that's why I've got this thing, because of uh, Whiskers over there. With that being said, it brings me to my third point, and that is to do research. It's okay to Google solutions all the time. That is how you learn. If you frown from doing research because you're too proud to think that you know everything, then you are going to step in a very big hole one day and realize the whole world has progressed and there's new ways of doing things. It is not to keep your code so much up to date, and yes, it's important for that because code gets outdated fairly quickly, but all things still work. The point is for you to discover new ways, new technologies, and who knows, you might be introduced to a whole new world of a language or a framework which you'll never have uncovered if you don't read and research new technologies. It's okay to use CSS, but search and research SAS because if you later on want to use SAS, you'll feel way more comfortable and acceptable to that language. Now, I hope you enjoyed these three tips and I do hope that you guys go and try it out. And that is it. These three steps will help you to become a legend in programming. And the reason why I say this is because it truly does. These three things are the core of everything really that you want to teach yourself or learn or better yourself in. Now, I know these are basic and it kind of sounds obvious, but trust me, these do work. And if you apply them to your daily life and to your skill base and bettering yourself in whatever you are doing, you're going to be great. And let me know how this works out for you, trying to learn more about the platform, number one, that you are writing code on, number two, writing code, and number three, doing more research on different stuff, on different frameworks and platforms and code bases and languages and everything. I hope you enjoyed my video and as always, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe and a comment to what you want to see next me making a video of. Cheers for now.